Barbara Shaw and this is as far as I've got with my wildflower meadow picture. Today I'm going to be looking more closely at all the lines and marks on the fabrics so I actually begin to shape the flowers and I've started adding a little mouse down here which needs some highlights so you can pick him out but some of the fabrics which are useful are this one which has got peppers on which you can use both sides and you can see that just by cutting out a little tiny piece of that it works actually on the poppies there's a bit there which I've used and adding sparkly bits so bits of silver and concentrating on the shadows as well as the lines and marks so this sparkly grey fabric I've used a little piece up here and I shall continue to actually look at how the light is falling so that I can add different colours of organza as well to bring the flowers forward. So that's what I shall be working on today. I've now pinned quite a few little pieces in place and I'm going to stitch them. So I'm using a grey thread and I've knotted the end and I shall just be doing little stitches, little running stitches, just to hold the fabric in place. And when I come to the end of the thread, I just trim it and remove the pins. The wildflower meadow is gradually taking shape and I've been adding creatures this morning. So I've added a butterfly, a harvest mouse and also a field mouse. And you can see close up the details. So that's the harvest mouse there, which is evolving. There's the field mouse. And there's the butterfly. So there's still more work to be done on them, but you can see how it's gradually coming together. 